What is going on everybody? This is Tatro and welcome back to the Lo-Fi Lounge. I have a new obsession. Tape recording, recording to these portable tape decks. This place is called the Lo-Fi Lounge for a reason, right? And today we are going to be recording some samples with these little machines and I'll tell you a little bit more about them. Members of the channel will be able to download these samples for free and we are going to use Serato Studio 2.0 to not only help us with this sampling process with their new cool stems feature, but to also make something out of these samples in the end. And a big thank you to Serato for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get into recording. gonna start with this full-size tape recorder. This one's got a built-in mic, but what I really like about it is that it has speed control. We're gonna do that later with a different sound source. First, I wanna just do some raw recordings of some hand pin. I have no idea if this is gonna sound good or work at all, but I figure trying to get a little bit of the ambiance in this staircase, but we'll also do a closer miking just in case the distant one doesn't sound so good. All right, next up, this little guy, also a little Sony recorder. This one records to micro cassette though. This little thing is cool, it fits in your pocket and it's also got two little feet on there so you can set it up on a desk and point it at your recording source. There's also a little cue marker button which adds a tone to your recording so you can separate different parts of your recording when you go back and listen. I think this is really cool. Let's record some guitar with this thing. All right, here's where the real fun begins. Serato 2.0 has this new stems feature where we can drop any sample or song into Serato Studio 2.0 and isolate different parts like the vocals, the melody, the bass, or the drums. It works amazingly well. So what I've done is isolated the vocals of one of my favorite songs, which I'm not gonna play for copyright reasons. We're gonna pitch that vocal up and record it into the line in of this tape deck. Now I say we're gonna pitch it up because this tape deck has the cool speed control. Now let's use the speed control, turn it all the way down so we get these nice long drawn out notes. And of course, run it through the hologram pedal. So now what was a pop vocal that could possibly have gotten me a strike on YouTube becomes this beautiful ambient soundscape on tape. But now we've got all these cool samples, let's go make something out of them. So without a doubt, we end up with a track that is not this clean, pristine mix, but it for sure has this nostalgic sound that is so easy to get when you're actually recording onto nostalgic media. But I wanna take a moment and show you all what went into making this beat with Serato Studio 2.0. So I had mentioned using the new stems feature earlier, and I wanna show you another way that I used it to make the drums for this track. I'm gonna drop in what is the final mix of one of my tracks, Wanderer. It's just a moody lo-fi track that sounds like this. 
There's some piano, there's some drums, but with the stems feature, like I was doing before, you can isolate particular elements. Obviously there's no vocal in this, but let's say I want to just isolate the melody. I'm able to get the melodic instrument. Let's drop the bass in there as well. Now this is all just Serato doing it on its own, but what I did for this track was I isolated the drums, the drums only. Just straight up a clean recording of only the drums, which otherwise it would sound like this. One push of a button and I've got only the drums and that was pretty much done in real time. It's not like it takes this long time to analyze the file or anything. So what I ended up doing for this track was instead of rebuilding a new drum kit, I just took Wanderer, isolated the drums, and then finding those chops, I'm able to create a drum kit out of just the drums from my own track. So now if you can imagine if there's any part of any song that you want to isolate, there's a great chance that you can do that with the stems feature in Serato Studio 2.0. But let's move on to the rest of the track. So without a doubt, the micro cassette recorder records like the lowest quality. And I think I even had it set to the wrong recording mode while I was recording that guitar. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but I was able to find these chords in there. And I did put a fair amount of reverb and some echo on them in Serato Studio as well. But if we combine that with the drums, we end up with this. start a good backing but I wanted to add some melody so I went to the pan sample and you get this ghostly sort of pan lead sound which ends up sounding like this It all has this quality where it sounds like the sound had to come through a time machine to get to us today, which I really like. Okay, finally, we have this epic vocal, which just layers into the atmospherics of all this, put it all together, and we get something that sounds like this. but I don't think it's really my intent to make tracks that are built entirely out of tape recorded elements. I mean, it was for the purpose of demoing in this video that it kind of ended up that way, but layering in other sounds like from your DAW can be really helpful to not have everything sounding so crunchy, so mid-rangey. So I actually just loaded in this warm electric piano sound which with some effects on it does end up sounding a bit 80s-ish. So now if we want to play this on top, It's the general aesthetic because I filtered it quite a bit. If it wasn't filtered, it would sound super clean. It doesn't sound so bad, it just sounds like it sticks out a bit too much. So I am doing some filtering there, which I think sounds pretty good. Still fits the aesthetic, even though it's not a tape recorded element. All right, I wanna say thank you again to Serato for sponsoring this video. What do you think of the new features and what do you think of Serato Studio 2.0? In my opinion, sponsored or not sponsored, the stems feature is a game changer. Would love to hear what you think about it in the comments down below. If you wanna get access to those samples I recorded and that we were using today, hit the join button, become a VIP member. You can download those with your membership as well as get a bunch of other perks, get your name in the credits like you're seeing on screen right now. It's a great way to support the channel and support my work, but also get a little something in return. I'll see you all next time. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.